Snell's law. We know that light travels in a straight line through any medium of uniform density. However, the speed of light depends on the nature of the medium in which it travels. Distance moved by light in a given time in different media. When light travels from a rarer medium to a denser medium, its speed decreases. Whereas, speed of light increases when it travels from a denser to a rarer medium. It is due to this change in the speed of light that the ray of light bends as it goes from one medium to another. Thus, the change of speed of light as it travels from one medium to another is the cause of refraction. Refraction occurs right at the interface of the two media and the angle of bending of a ray would depend upon difference of speeds of light in two media. AO is called incident ray. OB is refracted ray. NON dash is called normal to the plane surface XY. Separating the two media. Angle of incidence represented by I. Angle of refraction represented by R. Angle for refraction R is never equal to angle of incidence I except for normal incidence. The incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. In fact, the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant for the light of a given color and for the given pair of media. This law is also known as Snell's law of refraction after the name of its discoverer, Willebrord Snell. And this constant is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first. The direction of the bending of light depends upon the optical density of the two media. In going from an optically rarer to a denser medium, the ray of light bends towards the normal. When light travels from an optically denser to a rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. When light is incident normally on a boundary of two media, no change in direction of light occurs. No refraction occurs at the boundary that separates two media of equal refractive index.